Hello, singing friends. Welcome back to my channel. It's Mickey here, your friendly neighborhood singing coach. Today I'm going to be reacting to Morissette Eamon covering Demi Lovato's song Stone Cold. And I'm really excited to hear this because Demi is known for her monster pipes and this is a crazy powerhouse performance of a song. So I'm really excited to see what Marcette can do with it. This is a request from my patron, Andy Wang. So here you go, let's dive right in. I will be stopping the performance once so that I don't get flagged by YouTube and get the video taken down, but I'll try to do it in a spot that doesn't break up the performance too much. And I will put a link to the complete uninterrupted playback of the song in the description box below. Here we go. stop it there for a moment. I don't want to stop this beautiful performance. I just will say that the Demi Lovato sounds like it's going off the rails a little bit more. It's a little bit more of a hammer belt. I've talked about this before in my review of her voice. I think she's got an amazingly powerful voice, but it's almost an unrefined instrument sometimes. Whereas the Morissette Eamon version, there's so much dynamics in every phrase and there's more of a steadiness to it. It's not running off the rails and it doesn't have that abandon, which I like about the Demi performance because I think that that gives it the appropriate kind of breakdown feeling where you don't know what's going to happen and it's a little bit dangerous. But there's something that's incredible about Morissette's version as well, where she's really in control and it doesn't feel like it's going to run off the rails. It's still loaded with emotion and those dynamics and the understanding of the song from the moment she started singing it gave me the chills because she was so connected in that moment and really feeling everything that she was singing. But it doesn't have that feeling that she's gonna go off the rails. You know, it doesn't make me nervous in the same way. Stone cold, stone cold. You're dancing with her, but I'm staring. Thank you. 
that was really, really gorgeous. I mean, I would compare that to like a Whitney Houston performance. That was amazing. She's got incredible, incredible control. And she did get a lot of that emotion in the end, especially where you, you hear that kind of sobbing quality to her voice where she hits that last note on that climb. I'm not even going to attempt to do it because it would sound crazy, but that da, 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 when she hits that, she kind of sobs into that and you get that vocal yodely break that gives it that feeling of real emotion, like you're crying, you're sobbing. And then when she goes down to that, um, that if happiness is her, I'm happy for you. She gets really quiet and intimate on that. And that was beautiful. And then the last time she does it, she had that incredible sustain. So really, really powerful stuff, masterful performance. I wouldn't change a note of it. And I think that there's something that's a little bit more refined and the technique is better than on the original. It loses a little bit of that dangerous quality where I don't know what's gonna happen. And that seems, it's like two different takes on the song. You know, the Demi one is like you're in the middle of having a breakdown <laughs> and there's something that's really powerful about that. And then this one is more in control, but it's more despair and, and, and power. Um, like you're in control of that power rather than you're like losing your SHIT. So I think both performances are incredibly powerful, but I think Morissette's technique is more spot on. So I thought it was incredible. I think she's got an amazing voice iconic one for the ages. She's definitely a huge, huge talent. And she doesn't just have the pipe. She has a real understanding of the material that she's singing and she's a great performer as well. So thank you for recommending this, Andy. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope that you enjoyed my reaction and I will see you guys next time. If this is a Monday, I'll see you on Wednesday. If it's a Wednesday, I'll see you on Monday. Until then, take care, stay well, and of course, happy singing.